McAllister Olivarius has been in the trafficking field a long time. Many years ago, decades ago, we started getting cases from domestic workers who felt that they were exploited in their work in homes. Later, we got cases from seasonal workers who were in fields and who felt that they were also being underpaid massively for the work that they were doing. And then sexual slavery cases started coming. They manifested in lots of ways, perhaps with the domestic fear. They were asked to also provide sexual services, and that was considered normal for those jobs. Later, we got cases of cross-border where actually pedophiles would travel to countries, work in those countries, and destroy the lives of lots of kids. We've had all sizes and shapes of sex trafficking. Uh, it seems to be a really growing sector. We've had really good outcomes for survivors of any kind of sex and work exploitation, mostly because our approach is to educate people and to try to change organizations, to change those structures and people who are doing the exploiting, to try to get them to do the right thing. The future for McAllister Olivares in the area of sex slavery and worker exploitation I think is very promising. We're really effective at what we do. We've helped a lot of people find better lives. They have better outcomes from where they were when they came to us to where they are now. We've been able to change the world for the better, not only for the clients, but actually for the defendants, because we assume that people in general don't want to harm others. They want to do the right thing, and we're there insisting that they do the right thing, or we take them to court and most people choose to do the right thing without going to court, and that does make a difference, and it does change discrimination structures and what can be done in the world in a really positive way.